Hey guys, it's Brandon, AKA b Race Beauty, AKA your beauty best friend. And today, honey, I got your COVID related news. We're gonna talk about the Democratic National Convention and the debauchery that's already brewing with the Republican National Convention. Honey, the owner of Sweetie Pie has been arrested for allegedly killing somebody and Tyler Perry is getting an award. Let's talk about it. Grab your beverage, grab your tea, and let's get started. Chile, honey. Chile, Chile. Our COVID-related news is coming straight out of Wuhan, China. Baby! There are photos floating around of a pool party that happened in Wuhan, China. And not just like any pool party. This pool party happened at the Wuhan Beach Park, okay? I don't even do regular beach park, let alone a whole COVID swap, honey. But these people came together on their floaties and everything. Picture you little girl here. They came together on their floaties to celebrate life, I guess. They said, bump the corona. We moved past it. So guess what? We're going to party like it's 19. We're going to party like it's 2020 and our life depended on it. Catch it. And you know, good for them. We over here worrying about the road and ducking and dodging it. And now they're over there being able to kind of resume life. Now, I'm not going to talk anything bad because, you know, you know, you got folks out here calling it the China flu and all other types of ignorant stuff. But I'm just going to say, y'all live your best life in Wuhan. If y'all got over that hump, y'all take y'all dip in that COVID less swamp. But I'm going to tell you something. I can't talk because guess what we've been doing over here? Atlanta's had parties in the club with pools built into it. Folks can't get right here in Florida. So, you know, I'm going to just mind my business over here trying to live my best life in Florida while um, they're over here having a whole pool party in Wuhan. Y'all, good for y'all. So can we talk? Let me do that last row. Ooh, chow. All right, so the Democratic National Convention, I said last row and I'm still rolling. Oh, sometimes you just need that extra roll, honey. Ugh, yes, all right. So, the Democratic National Convention kicked off day two. Baby, it looked like a United Colors and Benetton ad done Brady Bunch style. Side note, did y'all ever notice how the Brady Bunch had Zoom back in the 70s or the 60s or wherever the Brady Bunch took place? But how do you get, how do you get Zoom looking down at each other and looking up? Anyways, they kicked off day two with the United Colors and Benetton. So inclusive. I loved it. We had all types of different people from across the country, from mayors to governors to senators to congressmen. Everybody was there to do the welcome for the Democratic National Convention for day two. I loved it. In addition to that, honey, y'all see, they dusted off some oldies but goodies for, that, for the speeches last night. They got caught. How do you get Colin Powell out of retirement? Listen, y'all, ever since Colin Powell retired, we don't even see Colin Powell. But Colin Powell came out of retirement talking about it, how we need Joe. Honey, as flawed as this man is, President Clinton gave us a good old speech talking about the Oval Office should be a command center and currently it's a storm center. Baby, if that isn't more truth than anything else, hello, somebody. And you know what I can really appreciate? The fact that we know Clinton is flawed, but that doesn't take away from the act of being presidential and the fact that you could still lead and ins inspire. So I was completely um, engaged. I would say I was engaged. I was engaged for Colin's um, speech and I was get engaged for um, President Clinton's as well. But I'm going to tell you what really did it with, for me. They got the Carters out of retirement. They said, ring, ring, ring. Hi, we need everybody, including the Carters, to come out of retirement, please. The Carters came out of retirement. We didn't see them, bless their hearts. But, baby, they gave a good old sickening voice over uh, Jimmy and, oh, God, what's the wife's name? Not Sue Ann. Oh, Lord. Rosalind. Rosalind, too. Oh, my Lord. So, you know what? I'm here for it. The, I feel like, you know, obviously it was 
last last night was all about him officially accepting. So everybody had to say, you're getting my delegates, you're getting my delegates. So officially, he has been nominated as the official Democratic candidate for president for 2020. Congratulations, Joe. Now, the highlight for me, outside of, of course, Joe speaking, was Joe Biden. Mama looked good. Come on, second second lady. She is getting prepared for that first lady spot. And she she looked like she may have dialed out Michelle and was like, girl, what do I wear? Because she had on a nice little sickening emerald frock all the way down, just enough to see her silhouette, a little, uh, a little button in the middle. She looked lovely. Hair was cascading on down. Her makeup was a little, you know, um, how can I say? It was like potato salad without the seasoning. That's fine, though, because we see where she was going with it. I mean, it was pretty, but it could have been a little bit more just because, you know, it was the Democratic National Convention. But that's neither here nor there, child. Jill gave a great speech, bridging the gap between her and allowing us to understand a little bit about her family. She went to her old high school that she used to teach at. She walked she sauntered in, commanding as an educator, talking about life as an educator and a parent. But you know what really touched me? The fact that she discussed that when they lost, when Joe lost his first wife and his child, how when they met, he said to the, the other children, God sent us Jill and, and to help us. And I thought that was so sweet because, you know, that has to be, I can't yeah. imagine losing a child and, a, and a, a, a spouse at the same time and to lose both. Oh, and then you meet a, a person that you fall in love with and you know they've had that hurt and the, the, you're filling a gap now. Oh, my Lord. Anyway, so Jill, I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to our new first lady because unlike the current first lady, Jill could actually put a sentence together and not like plagiarize it. There you go. Chob, let's talk about this debauchery that's brewing for the Republican National Convention that takes place next week. I don't know if y'all going to watch. I feel like I have to watch just so I can report the tea. But baby, did y'all hear that they have invited Karen, the Karen and the Ken? You know, the two, Mark, Mark and Patricia McClowski, that was um, arrested for an unlawful use of a firearm against the Black Lives Matter protesters. Yeah, those two that had the guns in their driveway as Black Lives Matter protested walked down the street. Yeah, those two. Uh, child, they have been invited to speak at the Republican National Convention. Now, if that ain't some tomfoolery, I don't know what is. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. Speaking of tomfoolery, Y'all watch Sweetie Pie? It's a little show that used to come on own. I don't know if it's still come on or not. But baby, mm -mm, let, me, let me look at y'all real quick. Baby, the owner, Tim Norman, has been arrested. Get this, arrested for cons alleged, allegedly conspiring to commit a murder for hire. Who is he murdering? I'm so glad you asked. His nephew. His nephew, Andre Montgomery, was murdered at the age of 21. And child, the, the T is, this, if this is not some how to get away with murder stuff, and this is not even like how to get away with murder. This is like bad how to get away with murder. Where is Annalise Keating? Obviously, he didn't watch all of how to get away with murder if he was trying to do something this horrible. But anyway, so he, after his nephew was murdered, tried to collect on the insurance policy that he had taken out on his nephew two years prior to his nephew's death of $450,000. And he tried to collect more than once. And when the insurance company wasn't paying out, the feds got a little, a little whiff of um, tomfoolery. And now, honey, he's been arrested. Him and some other accomplices, not worth remembering their names, but yes, God, honey, I don't know. This is some, how do you even recover from that? Like, how do you show up 
at the family reunion. You can never show back up to the family reunion. That's like on period. Like you could never show up to a family reunion. You could never show up to somebody's funeral. Like you could, that is crazy to me. What's next? Oh, V. Tyler Perry is going to be honored at the Emmys this year. He's going to be receiving the Governor's Award. That sounds like real fancy highfalutin. And you know what? As much as I um, feel some kind of way about the Medea character, and child, I watched one of the movies the other day called, you know, this is what COVID would do to you. I watched me the um, Medea funeral movie. Lord, I still feel like I need a refund of my brain cells. But nonetheless, Tyler is being awarded and rewarded with the governor's honors. So they're, they're, he, they're awarding Tyler because obviously, um, despite what you may feel about his movies, Tyler has been a champion in creating opportunities for marginalized communities, especially actors. So Tyler, congratulations. And last but not least, mm, just a little mm, lip conditioner by La Mer. Oh, these lips are dry, honey. And last but not least, Mariah Lazy Carey, sorry, Mariah Carey is releasing a new album on Friday called Rarities, and she's coming out with a new book, uh, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, something like that, child. You know, I talk a lot of crap about Mariah, but you know what? I will say, good for her for releasing a, a new album. According to her, their, um, their old music that she's never either, she's never either released or uh, finished mixing, so therefore she's putting all these old things onto one album and giving us a child. We couldn't even get a new cover art photo. She gave us old, you know, always be my baby. You know, she was like eighty pounds lighter. Yeah, I don't know. I, for me, Mariah's like we're just gonna pause in history, and I'm gonna just always give you some old stuff. So, honey, she's giving us a new old album. I can't, you know, I talk all this mess, but I'm still gonna listen to it. And on Friday, and you know, I'll give you my review on that too. But all right, my dears, I got to go. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you lots. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you like this video, and leave me a comment. I'll see you later. Bye.